Hello again, everyone. We, uh, there, I had a bit of a happy accident. Um, we'll, we'll call it that. I was recording for the next episode and so there was a technical error. I lost the video that I had and I had progressed a decent portion into the game. So I had to reload an old save, which was an adventure in and of itself. It was not easy to do. Um, and I also have, I wasn't saving as religiously as I should have been to, to back up my saves. So uh, this is where we are and I need to play catch up um, and get back to where we were. However, I was really, really interested in what would happen if I ate Sean. So obviously we know that this is what we should do, um, but specifically in this playthrough, I'm, I'm picking the not so good choices. So we're going, we're going with this one. I really would like to believe your fairy tale, the good ghoul feeding upon the flesh of the dead but I'm all out of innocence. Do you question my fate, Dr. Reed? Do you remember William? Oh, how his admiration for you was exceeded only by his hunger. May his soul rest in peace. Sean has no idea. The night will come, and you will suffer the same hunger. Someone who trusts you completely, a friend, will die never to wake. You confuse your voracious appetite with my itchy hunger. I would never kill a friend, nor an innocent. I believe you've discovered our defining difference. No! no. Ah, I can't! Ah. Damn. Oh. Alright, maybe this wasn't a happy accident. Whew. Oh. I'm a terrible person. I'm sorry, Sean. You deserved better. <laughs> I, <laughs> you deserved better. I'm sorry. It is with a heavy heart that I must report the murder of Sean Patrick Hampton, founder of the Hampton Asylum and renowned benefactor of the East End. A parishioner who had come for morning mass found Sean at 6 a.m. Police are currently investigating the crime. It's hard to imagine what might have motivated such villainy. Sean, also known as the Sad Saint, was a philanthropist, a lover of mankind, who was deeply loved in return. A man of faith who devoted his life to nurse the poor and the sick. Aside from food and care, he also provided his flock with nourishment of the heart and held regular masses for those that even the most altruistic churches would reject. Sean will be missed dearly, and the consequences of his loss are already felt. Without his charisma, the closure of his night shelter was inevitable. Many people are now living in the cold and contaminated streets. Without a roof, men and women will get sick, some will die, and no one will do anything. The murderer did not only take a life, he extinguished hope in a part of town that desperately needed it. Sean was a ray of hope in the East End, and for having met him many times, I can affirm that his goodness extended past his faith. He was a good man, a truly good man. His loss is a catastrophe, and I cannot picture what sick mind or deplorable turn of events might have brought this tragedy upon us. May the sad saint rest in peace and watch over our mediocre souls. All right, lots of people are sick. Okay, but... Okay, it's critical, but we're okay. You have septus? Oh my god. Okay, all right, headaches, anemia. Oh goodness, oh goodness. Okay, all right, we'll fix this. Now, people... The dog's fault, they say. Then the gangs, the epidemics. Good evening, Miss Cox. Hello again, Dr. Reed. What do you want? People should have something different to say now. 
Have you got any news about Sean Hampton's shelter? The murderer is still unknown. All I know is that the wet boot boys have nothing to do with this. Okay. Goodbye, Miss Cox. Where did you go? You're over here. Perhaps we should have listened to what the idiot had to say first. Yep. There we go. You again. What do you want? Questions. Have you heard anything about Sean Hampton's shelter? He's been brutally murdered. And not by one of my boys. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Digby. Delaney's still alive. Good evening, Mr. Delaney. What? Ah, oh, you're that doctor. Mm -hmm. Do you have any recent news of Sean Hampton's shelter? I don't want to talk about it. Just hearing his name makes me want to empty another bottle. Aww. Goodbye, Mr. Delaney. I think we're going to let him live. I think I'm not going to eat him. Welcome back, doctor. What can I do for you? That way I can still eat Edwina without collapsing the district. At least that's my hope. Have you got any recent news on Sean Hampton's shelter? Have you not heard? A sad saint has been murdered. Nothing is sacred anymore. Yeah. Do you need any help? <coughs> Can't be good for business to see the bartender cough in your beer. In oh. Goodbye, Mr. W okay, you've seen that, so I don't need to repeat it. So few clients. You're still working at this hour. That's what I call dedication. Have you heard anything about Sean Hampton's shelter? His death is proof there's no safe ground in this part of town. The streets live for violence. Do you require medical assistance, Miss Cavendish? Don't feel so good if you... Take this. Tom. Goodbye, Miss... That'll be okay. Let's go find... See what you have to say. Good evening, sir. I'm amazed you made it back to the docks alone. Good for you. Oh. Well, I could say the same about you, young man. News of the shelter? Do you have any recent news on Sean Hampton's shelter? In my day, the wet boot boys would have hunted down the scum who murdered the sad saint. Then I would have had my justice. Goodbye, sir. Okay. Caught everything up with him. Where's Rufus? Good evening, Rufus. <laughs> evening, Mr. Reed. You seem happier than before. Mm-hmm. I live with Mrs. Fishburne now, in her house. I have a bed and everything. Heard anything about Sean Hampton's shelter lately? Not since he bought it. Such a sad story. Hmm. So long, Rufus. She was sick? She had septus? Is that right? Yeah, jeez Louise. Good evening, Mrs. Fishburne. May I come in, please? Of course, Dr. Reed. I'm not sure the epidemic is what worries people most. I'm so sorry about your loss, Mrs. Fishburne. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Could you check Rufus's health for me, please? Yeah, your, your health is far more distressing. Mrs. Fishburne, are you in need? I am afraid. Then let me give you a prescription. I thank you for your generosity. Yeah, please take that, like, immediately. Do you have any news about Sean Hampton's shelter? What a terrible story. Where is the hope? If even the good souls can be murdered like this. Goodbye, Miss Fishburne. Take care of yourself. All right, so he's gone. We ate him. So we're just gonna go hop over to the other side now. All right, well, the shelter's still here. 
They're still standing over this body? That's weird. You again. What do you want? Okay, that's weird. Well, I'll They haven't reset. Glad to see you. All right. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Um, who was it that didn't reset last time? That was um, he didn't reset. Ichabod. Ichabod didn't reset. Where are you at? Don't do that. <laughs> okay, at least kicked it out. Kicked him out of his animation. Maybe. Can I talk to him, please, game? No. Game does. Come here. Good evening, Mr. Throckmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? And so, yeah, you're stuck. So... Goodbye. So these guys are delayed. Oh, I think I, I think I have to heal people. <laughs> um, yeah, I got, I got to heal each of them. So I think they're delayed, so I can come back next time. And, um, and they should reset and we can actually ask them about what the heck happened. You would. Do you need me? I'm. I don't. All right then. Yeah, thank you, Doctor. But don't think I take you for an ally of the working class. Okay, I don't know that we um that we had to heal her before, so I I skipped through most of that. I apologize. Well, uh, you're much safer here than in that contaminated area. Bullets kill people quicker than diseases and epidemics, Doctor Reed. I'm still tempted to eat him. Maybe I won't eat. <laughs> Maybe I'll let Giselle and um and Lottie live. Do you have recent news of Sean Hampton's shelter? He has been killed, you know. First Jack, now Sean. Someone is targeting the good souls of the dogs. Mm. Goodbye, Mr. Grader. Take care. So if you remember, um I explored down here for Edwina's uh, Gravedigger quest and I didn't really find anything so I didn't show you me running around um, but we're in this foundry and I picked up a foundry key fighting the guys here actually no I picked it off of this body and this looks like the foundry foundry we ran through at the beginning of the game I'm not sure that it is but it probably is anyway this guy had a key and I didn't figure out what it was for because I just ran across through here through these doors um, there's a door over here that apparently I missed. I just assumed it went out to the same place, but it doesn't. There's a wall there. So we go upstairs. I... There was a guy there. I killed him. Garter Pruin. I apparently... If I did go up these stairs, I went down here and across. I didn't go all the way up. Because none of this was familiar to me. Anyway, we go in here. And we found their offices. And there was a guard of pre win in here and I killed him. Nothing nothing hard or exciting or, or notable. There's nothing in this area that's glinting. Interesting. But in here there's all kinds of stuff. And I noticed that there's this note. So we're going to pick that up. New collectible. So this is a collectible that I missed. So this is great that I actually came back. I would have had to come here eventually. Like I was making it. A point to collect all of these so eventually I would have looked up on the guide where I needed to go so we would have gotten here at some point but we just got here early for more than a century the guard of Prewin has been a dissident faction from the Brotherhood of st. Paul stole it is important as the divergence of opinion between our two fraternities are now well established to remember what happened and why we shall alas consider these former brothers our opponents and adversaries and mock their law of conduct. Kendall Stone founded the Guard in 1801. He was a former legate of the Brotherhood and long-standing member of the Brotherhood Council. His departure was the result of an irreconcilable dispute with the Council. When Kendall stated that the Brotherhood had to reconsider its nonviolent approach to the study of vampires and that the eradication of these immortals had to be the ultimate goal of all our researches. 
Since the terrible schism occurred, relations between the Guard and the Brotherhood have always been difficult. The Guard of Prewin considers the Brotherhood as traitors and allies of their foes. While we call them thieves and zealots for the many ancient and precious books we kept for centuries which they destroyed or stole when they left. I will constantly recuse any accusation of cowardice, for I know the courage it requires for our brothers to approach and observe hostile immortals. I will never forget the cruel loss of the unique texts and scrolls burnt by Kendall and, and its followers when they left. And I will never cease to laugh at their stupidity, revealed in their very name, since they chose to call themselves the Guard of Prewin as a reference of King Arthur's shield thus defining themselves as the true defenders of this land. When the true scholar perfectly knows that in the book of Taliesin, Praedwin is only the name of Arthur's boat during his expedition to the mythical territories of Anwun. What a symbol indeed from Whispers of Our Past by Usher Talltree, a primate of St. Paul. I would have to look that up because I have, I've done some research into Arthurian legend. But that name is not familiar to me, so I would have to I would have to confirm that that is in fact his boat. Um, but this is actually really interesting because we'd picked up some codices, and I was a little confused by some of it because they would talk about um, from Saint Paul Stoll and all of that, and I was like, "Don't they mean the Brotherhood?" But this is a Guard of Prewin text, so I'm confused. But this this explains it, so that's good. We have that. There's also all kinds of loot here. I was hoping maybe the foundry key would be in here, but I guess... Oh! Nope, that did not require a key. Okay, so I still don't know what the heck the foundry key was, but that codex was important, so... There we go. At least I found that. So, one of the things that I've discovered that I wanted to show you, assuming that she does it, is if you follow um, Xiao Shun around, she will actually stop at these people. She's not gonna stop at that one. Who are just lying here. Let's see if she does it to this guy. I think she will, yeah. So she, she just gets down here and she tries to help them out. So I don't know, like, this guy has his eyes wide open. Which, like, I assumed these people were dead, but maybe they're just supposed to be sick. This guy looks like he's asleep. His eyes look closed. Yeah, so I just, I thought that was a really cool detail that it looks, it looks like she's trying to help, even if, even if I do think that person might be dead. I don't know. I I have no idea. But um but there you go. I thought that was cool. Let's see if she goes anywhere else. She can go help this guy. No. I wanna see where she goes. Yeah, I don't I don't think she goes to this guy. I think I think there's someone up here that she goes and tends to. Somewhere over over here, she'll come to this guy. Who also has, looks like he has his eyes open. Can't quite tell. Has made me blind. Yeah. There are so many people who could use my help here. Yeah, his eyes are wide open, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> She's trying, I guess. That's, that's, that's the point. So, I'm at this part. I was about to go chase Mary, and I turned around. I got some loot out of that trash can, and I looked up, and there's a hideout up here that we didn't find. I'm pretty certain. And in here is a note. 
Do you think vampires hide in the dodgy areas and hovels of London? No, they hide in the highest clubs and fancy houses of the West End. I know for a fact that some of them rule the empire in secret. They have a club, they have public figures, they have balls and fancy parties. I aim to control the country and our destinies. We must reveal them for what they are, greedy enemies of mankind born into this world to bring us all into the eternal darkness of hell. You know them, but you don't dare to pronounce their names. I will soon, and everybody in London will know the name of the Vampire Club. Clarence Crosley. So there we go. We found another one of his pamphlets. Let's see if there's anything. Nope, not that. I'm not sleeping. It's locked, all it's, right. It's locked from the inside. Okay. All right. Good evening, Mr. Delaney. What? Ah, oh, you're a doctor. I have a question for you. Are you worried about the sanitary situation in London? More contagion, more despair, more guns, and more dead. More alcohol. <laughs> Goodbye, oh. Mr. Delaney. I guess that would be the remedy for that. Hopefully, they should have reset. You again? What do you want? Uh, thoughts about Sean Hampton? Do you have recent news of Sean Hampton's shelter? That place was a dump, and it still is. The only good news is we don't have to listen to the sad saint's prayers anymore. Now he's gone. So you're just... Sitting here? Are you worried about London's situation? Are you worried about the sanitary situation in London? Chaos is rising, Dr. Reed. This city is about to crumble. You almost sound happy. This world needs to die, Dr. Reed. Whoa. And from the ashes, a new one will emerge with more equity and freedom. Oh boy. Oh. Well, I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. She's starting to sound. I don't even know. I don't even know. Where's your sister? There she is. Glad to see you again, Mr. Reed. Do you have recent news of Sean Hampton's shelter? I can't believe that someone could be cruel enough to assassinate a saint. Maybe Giselle is right. Maybe this world is doomed. Are you worried about the sanitary situation in London? There are rumors of infected people turned mad by the fever and roaming the streets, attacking everyone they see. Is it true? As long as you stay away from the streets, you should be all right. I hope you're right, Dr. Reed. We feel kind of left alone around here. Yeah, I, I get that. You're Do sick. you need my medical attention, Miss Paxton? I can keep going, Dr. Reed. Of course you can, Miss Paxton. But I wouldn't recommend it. Thank you, Dom. Goodbye, Miss. I think Giselle might have been sick and I forgot. You again. Do you need medical help? No, thank you. Okay, you're well, fine. I'll... Um, that conversation between the two of them makes a lot more sense about Lottie turning to despair if you eat her sister. Which is interesting. Let's go find. Ichabod. There you are. Not by the wall drinking. Good evening, Mr. Throckmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you heard any rumors regarding Sean Hampton's shelter? I spent days observing the place, but the vampires still got him. Oh. Evil. It's everywhere, Dr. Reed. Yeah. Goodbye. Is he around here? You are. Good evening, Mr. Are you sure? Are you what? Not really. I've spent so many days hiding to escape retaliation from the wet boot boys. Now that there's so much chaos, they might forget about me. Hmm. Goodbye, Mr. Gray. We have asked him that already. I don't remember. Um, I realized we got the basement key to the Ascalon Club. I just went up and did the scene where you get initiated and uh, we never actually went to explore the basement which I'm not sure which door it is well 
I will find it. I know it's here somewhere. That's outside. We don't want to go outside. I assume the basement's downstairs. Uh, is this it? Yeah, I think this is it. That looks like a basement, doesn't it? Is there anything? Nope. Anything good down here? Okay. I don't see anything down here. Ah, here we go. Recreational use of blood. As Ascalon members, we always tend to respect etiquette. We are, and always, members of the good society. Sometimes recognized as public figures, we do not find our delight in orgies and bloodbath like our adversaries assert we do. And if one of us were caught in such caricatured and immoral act, he would receive the appropriate aborium. But what about the blood? What about its recreational use? How could we deny the ecstasy the vermilion ambrosia brings us and with what else could we toast with as any good fraternity should to answer this delicate question the law of conduct inside the club goes as follows as long as the original mortal vessel is not brought inside our walls each member is allowed to drink whatever he wants for his own usage or to share it with friends drink what you want deal the way you want with the original vessel but never inside the club unless i personally authorize it on some special occasion of course from the law of ascalon lord redgrave do what you want but don't bring it inside okay continuing onward okay so um we ate uh mortimer's mom and he gave us a key or she gave us a key and I couldn't remember where Mortimer's house was, so I never went there. But I remembered when I was replaying that it's up here. And there is a chest in here that I th think the key will open back here. That's it. We got money. That's what we got. All right. All right, I'll take it. That's cool. All right. Well, I wanted to say thank you for hanging in there for this Redux episode, and we will continue on investigating the infection in the West End next time. I hope you are having a wonderful day, and thank you so much for watching.